it's an exciting time right now around campus, not just athletics, but as the school in general. There's a lot of new buildings, a lot of expansion, a lot of upgrading, um, both academically and athletically. We have some top majors that seem to lend towards women's soccer players, and NC State is ranked in the top five, top ten in some of those majors. I'm in the city of Raleigh. It's a modern city. It's a growing city. Um, it's ranked in a, in a lot of publications as a city that's attracting, you know, its growth for, for college uh, graduates. You know, we have a brand new uh, training facility. Uh, we have an upgraded stadium. Uh, we have a new indoor facility we'll be able to utilize. There's just a lot of things that I think once people get to Raleigh and get to NC State and can see what we have, we have a good product. Uh, it's just a matter of getting them here and, and selling them on, on something that, that's really unique and, and really high level. Well, I transferred in um, my second half of my sophomore year and I met with Mike and Mike is a phenomenal person, absolutely sold me on it. I love the area, I love the campus. Raleigh's great and I love Raleigh. I'm close to home so I can see parents and friends and my club coaches. It's a great place to be. Um, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Other colleges that I looked at didn't fall in love with the campus and as soon as I was on here I knew it. It just felt like the place that I wanted to be. We're looking for kids from winning programs that have a winning mentality, that are leaders on their teams. We knew when we got here we had an uphill climb. Uh, the, the program had been in the bottom of the conference for 15 years. We have the level of kids coming in now that are going, going to be able to compete um, to win in the ACC and win at the NCAA level. We've beaten out some you know, top 10 schools for these kids. It's just going to take the time to get them here, and get them acclimated, get them the experience of playing at this level. The future's bright and, and we know it. It's just the patience to get them here. That, that's the key. The ACC for women's soccer is as good as any conference, any sport, any gender, and, and the facts can back that up. The ACC is by far the best conference. Sometimes it's frustrating because we still are getting new players and we're a very young team, so that's also hard because the experience isn't there. Every year we have usually five teams in the top 10, seven to eight, maybe nine in the top 25, and that many can make the NCAA tournament, so that's tough. We're building on it. From the spring, I'm excited to get into the fall because it'll show how ready we are for the competition. Um, you have to have everyone involved, not just my staff, but my support staff. Uh, Rachel in academics and Abby, our, our trainer, and Brandon, our strength conditioning coach. Um, Michelle, our sports psychologist. I work with the women's soccer students um, as their primary advisor if they come in undeclared, um, but as their secondary advisor if they come in um, with a major already. We actually talk with them before orientation um, as we build their class schedules and then all the way to the day that they graduate um, and sometimes after graduation um, as they are pursuing job opportunities. Our department provides academic support for the students so they receive tutoring, mentoring. For our tutors we actually have about 80 tutors on staff and they're all certified tutors so um, I know NC State is one of few schools in the country that has certified tutoring so I'm really proud of that and I think that it makes our services better. I am responsible for the health and well-being of these women's soccer team from their physicals to their medical care to doctor's appointments to anything related to being a soccer athlete here. We are a large staff. We have 18 certified athletic trainers, 13 are full-time, 5 are graduate assistants. Everything is, is housed out of this facility so that we can keep everything close-knit and take care of things here. I work closely with strength and conditioning, making modifications to make sure that the girls are able to do as much as they can without injuries. I think I'm oftentimes looked at as a mom and a sister and anything related to their lives I probably hear more about than the coaching staff. I'm more than just medical, I, I guess I would say, because I spend a lot of time with them. I am in charge of administering the workouts in the weight room as far as building strength and power development outside, working on their agility, speed, and first step quickness, and then also administering the warm-ups before and the cool-downs after practice. Coming in first up, it's not just a basic cookie-cutter workout. Um, we take pre and post testing uh, numbers, so I'll see where each athlete is at, and then from that, individualize the workout to push to the needs that each athlete needs in order for them to progress and get better and then it's part of my job to kind of keep the energy and intensity up on a day-to-day -day basis. As far as strength coach, you also get big brother, counselor, so giving guidance, health advice, life, so I mean, it's, you 
it goes beyond sets and reps. They're very involved and it's, it takes a lot of coordination, but um, recruiting is the lifeline of a program, so we go at great lengths to, to make it worthwhile for the kids. BK and Abby are always there no matter anything. If you're hurt, if you're sick, if you even have a headache, Abby's there. Text her, call her anytime. She makes time for you whenever. BK, he, he's always like thinking about us. If we're hurt, if we're injured, he'll change his plans to fit yours. They do a really good job at that. We have a lot of people involved in the process because when the kids get here, they have to realize it's not just the soccer players, the soccer coaches, it's, it's, a, it's a whole family of people that has to get the job done for them. This program has it balanced. Where I came from, there was, it was difficult to balance between academics and soccer. Tim expects you to give 100% academically as well as arriving to practice and giving 100% there. And the way that this program is set up, you're able to. You're really able to achieve success in class and on the field. They care about academics, they care about if you're hurting, if you're sore, family things, all that. So they're really, it's a close group of people. Everyone who's involved in this program have figured out a really good balance. We had to change not just the team, we had to change the culture here. And that's what we've spent the first two years doing that and we've done that. But now you need kids that fit in to the culture that you've change too and what you've created and that's what these kids do. Yes, they can play soccer, but um, they bring a lot more intangibles to the table than just soccer. It's always very competitive in practice or in the weight room. It's, it's always, I want to be better than the girl beside me. We're striving for better with every class that comes in, just better. The girls coming in are a really good class and they're r really talented. It's not about the past, it's about what we have going on here now, what we have coming in in the future. Uh, it's a different NC State than it's been over the last 15 years, um, not just internally, but what we have from a facility standpoint, what Debbie Yao has done for the program to support us. There's a lot of pride and a lot of passion with each individual. We're all in it and we're all committed. I, I have a strong feeling that we'll be very successful these coming years. So we have a good city, we have a great school, and we have a program that's about to explode, and they can be a big part of it. They're not just going to be status quo. They're not just going to be coming in to just be a part of something that's always won. They're going to be the reason we do win, and they're going to be the faces of that. And I think what's made our recruiting so successful so far and what's going to attract kids in the future is that they can play a big part in being part of an ACC power.